Hello and welcome to my channel where we talk all things dogs. I have three beautiful Border Collies. One is named Nile, one is named Dare and one is named Hope. They are all black and white Border Collies. Uh, you'll see some pictures come up. Should be now. We'll see how I go with editing. Um, possibly even some video. So first up we have Naya, second up we have Dare, and third we have Hope, my youngest. So a bit over a week ago I ordered from the vet shed. Now I don't normally order that much online, but I thought I'd give it a go, particularly in this time of uncertainty and lockdown. I thought, why not? Let's order something off the internet. So, I give you my little vet shed haul. Now, there were a few things that I just needed for my dogs. Um, as my dogs are show dogs, they don't usually have collars on. This means that with everything that's going on, I don't have to worry so much about the fur around their neck uh, for dog shows and things and as such I'm actually going to be putting some collars on them while I get them used to doing agility. Alright, so let's get started. Uh, we have some fluffy air things. I think the dogs would actually really like to play with these but they're not going to. Uh, Alright, we've got a few noodles in here as well. So this is really good, it's keeping everything nice in there. Um, Alright, let's see. Aha. Okay, so this is Dare's new collar. Uh, it's a Rog's collar. Looks really, really nice. I have to admit, I actually really like that collar. Good choice. This is totally a Dare collar. I always buy Rog's, I will admit. Um, <laughs> This is because of the few safety features that it's got. So one of them is, you'll notice if for some reason the buckle actually, you know, broke off, it catches in this little loop. So definitely keep that metal loop through all the time. It also actually puts no pressure on the buckle for that reason. So if you actually put it through the loop, you clip the lead onto this what happens is the pressure actually goes straight down here now what that means is that the pressure isn't on the buckle so you're not as likely to break the buckle particularly for strong pullers not that dare is but better safe than sorry it also has a lock so this little thing stops you from being able to just unlock the buckle. This actually saved me a dog once because someone tried to get the collar off. Ha! Ah, didn't know that it had a lock. So yeah, I definitely love the Rogs brand of things. So this is his lovely little collar. It's a bit hot today. <laughs> Queensland. All right. So that's his lovely little collar and now of course you've got to have a matching lead come on that's awesome that's so dare i love it <laughs> this is gonna be great okay so he wasn't the only one um hope actually already has her set because i bought that before i actually got her um, I was really, really hopeful and I bought pretty much everything purple. So I'll have to show that in another video, but she's got rogue stuff as well. Okay. So this is Naya's. I actually really like that too. Love. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. So again, same features, lock metal thing it's all the same this is basically from the large size up does that 
uh, the medium and the smalls don't really do it. So yeah, keep that in mind. It's for the larger dogs because they have more of a pull. I did order a matching lead to go with this, but apparently it's been back ordered. I didn't actually receive an email telling me that it was going to be back ordered. Just, hey, we've sent your stuff. Also, this is back ordered. No idea when that's coming. Don't really understand that. Um, hopefully it won't take too long. Hopefully they'll actually let me know what's going on. Yeah, that was a little bit odd. And last but not least, whoop, a few little things, is this fun little device. I'm gonna put the box away now. <laughs> So this here is a Kong Replay. Now I've actually never used one of these. Um, I do have a few other treat devices from Kong um, and I know that my dogs love them. Naya has figured out her one, Dare has figured out his one and now this is Hope's. So it's purple. Oh, of course it's Hope's. Uh, let's see. We've got twist to open. So me open. Oh, it's got a string. Okay, so you open and you put the treats in there. It's very interesting. Let me put it back in somehow. Oh yeah, cool. So treats come out of there and there. And you put them in on either side. I will actually take a video of one of the dogs playing with it. I'm not sure who's going to play with it most and who's going to give me the best uh, video, but we will see. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. Looks pretty cool though. It's quite solid and it's got something in this middle part. I'm not sure what it is, but it shakes. So apparently, if you roll it it comes back it's a replay so hopefully that'll keep them occupied don't worry these aren't actual marks on it that's the noodle stuff i don't actually like the noodles <laughs> but i can understand why they're in there for packaging and keeping things safe so yeah uh not bad with the vet chair. uh it did come uh just over a week which isn't too bad, all things considered, because uh, it's actually it's actually the Easter holidays, so a little over a week is not bad. And all this coronavirus stuff, I'm quite happy. We'll see how we go. So today's video, I also want to discuss briefly about treats. I'm very big on, you know, not getting anything that's imported. Uh, from you know China or Taiwan or anything like that. I'm also not a big fan of grains So you'll find that I try and find as natural a treat as possible also natural foods uh, Having said that I you know do sometimes add rice to my dog's diet and that sort of thing. I Think all things in moderation. I just don't want them to be on it all the time so Let's have a look at some of the treats I got today from Pet Stock. So first up, we have these Zeewee treats. So they're actually lamb ears that are coated in liver. There's eight pieces. Not bad actually. Can't remember how much it was, but Zeewee is from New Zealand. Yes, technically imported into Australia, but New Zealand is pretty much like part of Australia in a way, or we're part of New Zealand. We're like best friends, cousins, something like that. Pretty much all my closest friends are actually from New Zealand, so go figure that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna have a look at this because I actually haven't fed my dogs this. But it looked really good. New Zealand lamb ears, liver coated, eight pieces. It's for treat, chewing, and entertainment. Uh, all dog sizes and guilt free. 
Would a dog really feel guilty about eating anything? I have to wonder. So it's got this nice little tab back. So it's all resealable. I like that. I got these for Hope so that she could have a chew. Oh yeah. So they're not very big. But yeah, that, that would not take uh, Naya and Deb long at all. Might take Hope a little bit. Um, she does eat a carrot pretty well. Uh, but yeah, it's very liver coated. Nice. I think she'll love that. She doesn't actually know that I have all these treats. None of them do. They're just lying over there asleep. No idea that I have yummies. Oh wow, that's really strong. So I'm gonna put that back. So as I said before, I give um, carrots as treats, whole carrots. They're really good for teething and stuff. They're also good just for cleaning teeth in general. Nice and healthy, but these look like they will be very popular. I admit it. That's free range farming, handcrafted, no artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives, and it's air dried slowly and gently. This is not cheap packaging, by the way. I actually really like Zeewee, so we'll see how we go. So that's my Zeewee. The next one, I'm actually pretty sure this is from New Zealand as well. <laughs> New Zealand grass-fed free-range lamb and organs yeah so luckily they don't look like they have organs in them um, they're actually just these little white meaty treats I don't know if you can see them but they're not bad they're about yeah some of them are about the size of my nail some are a little bit bigger um they're all kind of rounded okay so in this it's no grains no gluten and no guilt again i think new zealand products must really like that no guilt thing so these are classified as great for training grain free delicious healthy morsels made with all natural premium ingredients those ingredients, I'm pretty sure, is literally lamb and lamb organs. Uh, let's see. Ingredients. Lamb, lamb heart, lamb kidney, and lamb liver. Glad that they did this and got it all in there. Because I wouldn't. That, that would disturb me. Uh, I'm not a vegetarian, but yeah, messing with organs is not a, not a side quest that I ever want to experience. No artificial preservatives or flavors. So, lovely little packet, canine natural. The little New Zealand thing there. Let's see if the next treats are New Zealand, <laughs> because that would be funny. Oh no, okay. So these are not New Zealand. Um, these are definitely Australian, because I've been to place where they used to make them. Oh no, they still make them there. So this is made actually near where I used to live. And I actually get uh, the leading raw dog food, which is meat patties, uh, actual food from them. So yeah, I've actually been getting raw food from these people for years and years long before it was in pet stores uh geez it's been a long time they used to, so the patties used to come in these massive round rolls and that that were definitely wider than your dog rolls at the shops and they were cut into patties but they would all be frozen together and you would literally have to slam them onto the ground to try and get the patties to break apart so that you could get a patty for your dog for that dinner 
Uh, <laughs> it was really good when they finally got into those little packets and you could literally just tear them apart. But I will show you those another time. Uh, but for now, the treats. Now, I have to admit, I actually bought these after having tried a different flavor. Um, not me tried, Dad tried them. <laughs> uh, what happened was Big Dog were announcing the fact that they had made these little bites and Dare actually was given a free packet. Uh, so that arrived oh, a few days ago and that packet, you know, these, these things are huge, okay? So if you have a look, they are massive. So I've been breaking them up into smaller bits, but they're great for his training. I'm training him to go over jumps at the moment because uh, he's now 14 months, going on 15 months. He's allowed to start, you know, gently training jumps for agility. He's not allowed to compete yet uh, just because his hips are still, you know, in that process of being solid. You don't want anything to happen to them. Uh, now, these are very popular or the flavor that we got were very popular so I'm imagining the salmon was likely to be very popular as well can't imagine my dogs not liking fish uh, since they have sardines in their meals every so often uh, now so this is Australian made uh, in Warnton Queensland is it as treats or toppers and you can actually use this as meals it's probably why it's so big you can actually use them as meals instead of treats. Uh, just <laughs> little bites. They are not very little. This is little. This is not little. <laughs> uh, Tasmanian salmon. So the salmon comes from Tasmania. It's free from synthetic vitamins and minerals, artificial chemicals, colors, flavors, and preservatives. So it's an all natural, made, owned, and produced in Australia. Big dog pet foods. I do love big, big dog pet foods. I will admit that. I have done since a very long time. <laughs> but this is for dogs of all ages, shapes, and sizes. Uh, it's got benefits of raw. It's got all this information. Basically, I'm not going to read it all out but it's really good. This is a uh, freeze dried to instantly lock in the maximum nutrition, ready to eat, no cooking required and grain free. So I definitely like them. Um, so I'm pretty sure these are freeze dried as well. Um, honestly, these are great. Both of these are great training treats. I will keep using them. And this, I'm imagining, hope will be very, very, very happy with this. Those are three treat suggestions that I have for you. Definitely recommend all of these. If you're in Australia or in New Zealand, these are really good treats to get your dog. They will actually work for them. I have had dogs that just refuse to work for certain treats. They're not necessarily treat driven there's not necessarily treat driven but he really likes the free pack of little bites that we got of the last sort so I imagine he's gonna like this he hasn't tried these but he's going to and I imagine he's gonna love them so yeah I hope that you have found this somewhat educational and yeah give us a thumbs up just so that I know that you know people are actually watching this and finding it interesting and I'll keep doing some more videos and let you know okay so we're gonna try something and see if I can put Dare's new collar on him in view of the camera he's pretty good so we'll see we're gonna try some of these uh, canine natural treats and see if he'll eat them Dave, up. good boy Wait. All right, so we're gonna put this collar on him and 
nice and easy. I actually find that it's easier not to undo the whole thing and get rid of the metal thing. But it's a bit big for it, so I'm going to have to, like it just comes off. So I'm going to have to make it smaller. Good boy. And what do you know? He likes these canine naturals. Treats. Yeah. Good boy. Alright, let's try this size. And let's lock it. Perfect. Now he's got his brand new colour. Not that you'll ever see it again with his fur. But he did well, didn't you? Yeah, good boy. Let's see if Hope will come up. Hope up. video. If you have any suggestions or want any information about particular things, by all means comment below and I'll try my best to make a video about it. Uh, keep in mind I will be doing videos about different dog sports, um, uh, inside into things like dog showing and grooming. There's a whole bunch of things that I would like to explore on my YouTube channel all things to do with dogs and you know i hope that over the time i will have different dogs visit different breeds and you can get to know a few different things about all of them in the meantime stay safe <laughs>